and a new book has again put the spotlight on the supermodel he dated before marrying his current wife, Melania. That woman has been my friend for nearly 20 years, and she has never spoken about that time until now. And there's a reason. Meet Cara Young. Cara, you and I have been friends forever. You have specifically asked me not to talk about your old friendship with Donald Trump. Why are you speaking now? When something's said about you for years and years and years and you never say anything back, that got as frustrating as, as if I spoke all the time. Back in the 1990s, it was hard to pick up a magazine and not see Cara Young. She was one of the original supermodels, appearing in commercials with Claudia Schiffer and Cindy Crawford. In 1997, Donald Trump, newly divorced from second wife Marla, asked her out. I didn't think I was going to like him because he wasn't my type. Uh, I didn't think he was my type, and but it just ends up happening. You clicked. Yeah. I know it's hard to believe, but he was very funny and he had a really good personality. For two and a half years, the model and the real estate developer were an item in the gossip pages, photographed at the hottest parties. How did you end up apart? What ended the uh, two years? It's just ran its course. It's not, there was never any, you know, enemy or I hate you or not, there was none of that with us. Trump went on to marry Melania. Cara married another billionaire, Greek shipping magnate Peter Georgopoulos. Then Trump was elected to the White House. And every time a Trump story had a racial overtone, the phone of his biracial former girlfriend would start ringing. It was very, very hard at that time. It was hard not to say things. I, it was, I was confused, like, should I say something? Should I not say something? What prompts her to speak out now, she says, is an anecdote in Confidence Man, the new best-selling book by New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman. A comment Haberman says the future president made sometime after meeting Young's parents. And what she quotes him as saying is, you got your looks from your mother and your intelligence from your dad, the white side. Yeah, that's true. And Car, I see you like breathing and I'm like, I don't want to ask you about this because I can tell this is not a happy recollection. Because it sounds, when someone says something in jest, are they kidding? You know, it's, I don't know. And when he said that, you corrected him. Yes. It wasn't like a fight or anything like that. It was just more like, don't, no, don't say that. It's not funny. How did he respond when you said, you can't say that? I just, he just he said, I was just joking. I was just kidding. You know, I don't think that. When Charlottesville happened, mm. and then President Trump stood there and said. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. A lot of people thought he was a racist that day. You don't have to ask me how someone is. You can see how they are by what they say and the comments that they make. It has been six years since she's spoken to Donald Trump. I called to congratulate him for winning president, as one would. Do you think Donald will run again? I think he will, yeah. I think he wants to. Do you think he should run? No. Ms. Young says whatever Mr. Trump decides to do politically, this interview is the first and last time she'll publicly speak about him. Mr. Trump did not return our request for comment.